Let's create a tribal sits test that automates a real-world scenario of updating a student's surname on the STU screen. Our test will involve taking a student code, fetching the student details, updating the surname and validating it on the tribal sits client. Before diving into test execution, it's essential to follow some guidelines to ensure a smooth testing experience. Make sure to set your system scale to 100%. This can be easily adjusted by navigating to settings, then system, and finally display. Keep in mind that the tribal sits client is on the main display during test execution. It is assumed, for the sake of simplicity, that the user is logged into tribal sits. Nevertheless, the process of logging into tribal sits can also be automated through UseMango. To begin, create a new test in UseMango and name it Update Student Name Demo. Add a test step to click on the sits menu system using tribal left click. Create a test variable of type image identifier and name it menu system. This variable will hold the image of the menu field to perform the left click action. Add the test variable menu system to the tribal left click step. Next, add the tribal right text component to enter STU in the sits menu system. For this, create a test variable of type text named stu screen and specify the value says to you. Add the stu screen test variable to the tribal right text step. Now, let's use the shortcut keys component to press the enter key which will open the stu screen. For this, add value enter into the keys field. Run the test steps 1, 2, and 3 to open the STU screen. Now, let's add a test step to enter the student code in the field, using the tribal right text component. For this, create a test variable of type secret, named at student code, specifying the student code to be entered. Add the student code test variable to the tribal right text step. Add a test step to retrieve the student details using the shortcut keys component by adding value F5 into the keys field. Run test step 4 and 5 to retrieve student details. Now, add a test step to verify if the record was fetched using the tribal verify image exists component. By creating a test variable of type image identifier and name it a record. This variable will hold the image of the number of student records found for verification purposes. Add the test variable a record to the, the tribal verify image exists step. Run the test step 6 to verify if the details were fetched. Next, we'll add a test step to navigate to the surname field by pressing the tab key three times using the shortcut keys component. For this, add value tab 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 into the keys field. 
Once the focus is on the surname field, we'll then use the F7 key with the same shortcut keys component to clear the old value in the field. Add a test step to enter the new surname value using the tribal right text component. For this, create a test variable of type text named new surname, specifying the new surname to be entered. Add the, the new surname and test variable to the, the tribal right text step. Once the new surname is entered, we're ready to update the details. To accomplish this, use the component shortcut keys with the string control S assigned to the keys field. Run the test steps 7, 8, 9, and 10 to execute the update process. Now, let's add a verification test step to ensure the success of the update action. To achieve this, we'll use the tribal verify image exists component with the image identifier holding the image of the success message, which states, store was successful. We run this step. We can verify the student name update on the eVision portal. eVision can be automated using Usmango's web framework as it is a website. You can refer to the create your first web test link provided in the description to understand how to automate a website. The steps for automating eVison can be added in the same test and the pseudo steps for doing so can be found in the automating tribal sits with Usmango blog.